We want to know, PFF Brad, what are your top 10 quarterbacks in the NFL? Nine is Jalen Hurts. Jalen Hurts is nine. <laughs> Jalen Hurts was nine. We want to know, PFF Brad, what are your top 10 quarterbacks in the NFL? All right, so first answer is obvious, Mahomes. Oh, Sec- really? is, is, is Dak is second? Is Dak second? <laughs> He's close. He's Not close. controversial. <laughs> Dude, yeah. that's crazy. So, <laughs> so this is where I think it starts. I still have Josh Allen over Joe Burrow. Yes! I, th- I think you could argue either way. But <laughs> no, I, yeah, yeah. you can't. can't argue either way. No, yeah, you, you can't argue either you way can, for sure. You can, but you can't. Yeah. But we have Josh Allen ahead too. Yeah, I, mean, no, the, I don't. I don't. You Joe Burrow guy? Yeah, I'm Joe Burrow guy. Yeah. You yeah. Ten second pitch. Why Josh Allen over Joe Burrow? I mean, the physical tools are still just different. Oh. Like, yeah. Not, Burrow's not a bad athlete, but he's not Josh Allen. And, no. And I think too, like, not that Allen's supporting cast is bad, but I mean, give Josh Allen, T. Higgins, Jamar Chase, and Tyler Boyd. Exactly what these motherfuckers. Thank yeah. you. What about Haley Steinfeld? Right. That. Yeah. That, that great pull. Helps. By the way, he's got a leg up on Joe Burrow there for sure. Also, a better <laughs> playoff. Hey, 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 but- Joe Burrow's girlfriend. She's cutie. Yeah. No. <laughs> you're, 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 I'm better. She's very cute. And yeah. Josh Allen, better yeah. playoff performer as well. People forget. All right. Yeah. Josh Allen better in the playoffs? Yeah. Like okay. stat right. wise. Well, yeah. stat wise. So, they lose. I mean, we they can lose. we can pull up. Say, we, we, it, you want to go into this no, again? We, we, there's this is stat wise, but like I'm just You want to been to a Super Bowl? The team. The Bengals have been to a Super Bowl. Just I'm, I'm going to say this for the 55th fucking time. Just because Trey Wingo says Trey. that winning's not a quarterback stat it does not mean that it's not. It has nothing to do with Trey. Is winning a quarterback stat, yes or no? To not a degree. really, no. To a degree, yeah, but like not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, it, was, it was a good All try, right. bro. It was a it good try. Uh, I was just hoping he would say yes, and I'm like, fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> I right. mean, so then Burrow. Not, not really well, he's the yeah. one arguing Josh Allen over Burrow anyway. So Yeah, yeah. Give whatever answer helps my narrative. So then Joe Burrow. I mean, I do think to a degree there is like – Clutch and all that stuff and all those like you know all, all those cliches that get thrown out there like there's there's realness to it. I mean Joe Burrow is just like the the guy turns it on for sure and and that matters. He's so, also just ice cold. Ice cold. Yeah. I mean truly, I mean like the, the Chiefs game. I was just watching the the quarterback. You know, the Chiefs game during the regular season where it's third and eleven. He, he throws over the middle, gets rocked as he's throwing it, and just ices the game. Like that's yeah. yeah. He's a dog. Yeah, like not that Josh Allen can't do that. I was watching I was watching the quarterback thing on Netflix. I finished it. I gotta watch it. There's oh, a I'm moment in there where where it's right before the AFC game, championship. Right? It's the game before where the Bengals are playing the Bills. Mm-hmm. And Patrick Mahomes Sr. asks his son, Patrick Mahomes Jr., you know, the one wow. who's in the league. Oh, really? And he said, <laughs> oh, who, really? who do you, who do you think is going to win? Or, like, who would you rather play or something? Oh, I saw this. Yeah, and yeah, he, yeah. Was like, he was like, well, I think we'll match up better against the Bills. Like, I think the Bengals are better. Like, I think we'll match up better against the Bills, but I want to play the Bengals. Like, I want to play. Because he talking. wants to play Because he thinks yeah. Joe Burrow is the next best quarterback. But he was also saying because they keep talking and running their mouth. That, well, that happened. No, no, no. But that didn't happen until after no, they beat the Bills. Shut your mouth. So, so he, he, they hadn't even said that yet, right? The mayor didn't even release Burrow the shit had yet. all that shit, yeah. Sorry to interrupt, yeah. but that no, was just, no. it was a cool moment. That was moment. crazy, though. It was a and, great moment. And they both feel that way. Yeah, it was yeah. pretty dope. We're like, um, Mahomes is more scared of Burrow, I think, than Josh Allen. I mean, because Burrow is cold. Yeah. I Wait, would trust Pat nah, Mahomes saying team. that yeah. Burrow's the second best quarterback. Hey, maybe. I mean, he was three and zero against him. I don't know if anyone else even has a winning record against Patrick Mahomes. Yeah, so, well, well, I, I don't yeah. remember. Yeah. I don't know any of the stats because watching it's the from quarterback a video. show, uh, they were talking about Joe Burrow before uh, before they played, and he was like, "Joe Burrow's yeah. the only quarterback yeah. to win twice against Patrick yes. Mahomes." Yes, I don't know the stats off the top of my head, but this idea that he is clutch, there's a lot of stats to refute that. Yep. Just gonna put that. Oh, out. Really? He definitely had. There are like the first just playoff saying. run. Yeah. Shut the fuck like, how many touchdowns? He, he has, has zero fourth, fourth quarter touchdowns in his playoff. The Bengals player. defense has outscored Joe Burrow in the fourth quarter of the playoffs. You got the Bengals, Bengals the defense. defense has outscored Joe Burrow in the fourth quarter in the playoffs. Think hey, about man. that. Just take a second. You can't do anything about that. That's but great. that's clutch. That's clutch. That's clutch. No, the, the Raiders game. The Titans. What's game, the rest like, of your list? No, I mean. We can spend all day on that. You want cherry pick? I'll fucking like cherry I, pick yeah, later. Yeah, I'll come up with some shit for you tomorrow. Ice cold, bro. Ice cold, ice cold. Get some new glasses. All right, so let's move on to number four. <laughs> yeah, so four is probably just because I'm a Hurt Bears fan. So Rodgers is still up there. I know yeah, he wasn't yeah. as good last year, but uh-huh. back-to-back MVPs. I mean, the dude is just – probably I still think Mahomes is going to take this title. But, like, the most just, like, fluid, like, just makes the game look easy um, – in another stratosphere. So I'll go Rodgers. Mm. You hate him more than any other player in NFL history. By leaps and bounds. <laughs> by a country mile. Yeah. I'm so glad he's not in the news anymore. Yeah, that was probably like it's, it's sad as a fan. Like the happiest day is like a guy leaving from another team. Yeah, that's yeah. crazy. Uh, but it's true. It's a reality yeah, situation. Yeah. So Fuck like I, yeah. I, I was genuinely like talking to some of my buddies who were big Chicago fans, Bear fans and everything. I was like, do you hate the Packers or Aaron Rodgers more? They go, oh, Aaron Rodgers. I think that's fair, for yeah. sure. I mean, the thing is, too, like, I respect the Packers, like, because of my job, too. Like, I just respect that they do business the right way. Yeah. So it's like, it's hard for me to hate the entire organization. 
But Rogers, man. Nah, fuck the whole organization. Bear <laughs> up, bear you're, down, you're all life, the above. Life, you've just been getting fucked. You got Brett Favre right into Aaron Rodgers. Like, that's literally the entire thing. Like, now yeah. Jordan Love's going to be the GOAT, so. But hey, at least you got Jay Cutler and uh, Sexy Rexy. Correct. So, yeah. Rex grows from being a Super Bowl. Like, people forget that. Uh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is actually a random tangent, but we had a, a running joke in the office. We were looking up what are the lowest graded games where a guy still won? Oh, and Rex Grossman of the top ten, Rex Grossman had like four of them. <laughs> like, he had like like twenty six grades. The Arizona game where they had, you know they had like the yeah. they are who we thought they were quote. Yeah. He had like four interceptions for like ninety seven yards. <laughs> the, de- the defense scored like three times. Anyway, yeah, it was a random tangent. That so yeah, amazing, sexy yeah. Rexy's not on this list. Uh, oh, that's that's unfortunate. <laughs> yeah, which is controversial. The list is invalid. Trubisky also not yeah, on the list. Mitchie just Mitchie. just off, just a fringe guy. Yeah. So here's where I think it gets a little controversial. So I'll put Justin Herbert five. Woo! Adam, you hate that. Though. I mean, it's over Jalen Hurts. I'm curious. Hurts is going to be lower than, than you like, I think. So, uh, yeah, big for the NFC, NFC East. So, the Herbert justification, I, I mean, guess he's got to do something. Yes, they blew a 27-point lead, and I do think at times he, he wasn't making plays. He also was hurt the entire year. Their receivers in that game were not doing anything. But, like, the game against the Raiders where he converted maybe four fourth and tens. Like, I don't know if you guys remember that game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. It was one of the craziest performances I think I've seen in, like, a very long time. And, again, I don't make these determinations off of one game. But, like, he has our highest graded passer on third and fourth down the last two years. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, yeah, like, and, again, like, I don't like splicing things up. Like, you want to look at the full body of work. But the dude, I think, just has physical gifts that, that are hard to replicate. So, him at five. I got Lamar at six. I think the narrative on Lamar <laughs> None of them are going crazy. <laughs> yeah, it's a fact. It's going crazy. Yeah. We agree. Yeah. It's bullshit. It's we bullshit. Agree. Yeah. So, He's him years. at six. I got Trevor Lawrence at seven. Ooh. A little early. I'm a big T-Law like guy. Yeah. I love T-Law. Jalen Hurts is falling. He is falling. I'll argue a little bit early on Lawrence. I was kind of a doubter. Like, first half of last year, I feel like people were, like, praising him. It was like, oh, he's top ten. He's the next up, whatever. And I was kind of probably because I'm a Justin Fields fan and I'm a hater. But I was like, I was like, eh, I don't see it yet. <laughs> yeah. Second half of the year, I mean, yeah. he was he was he's our second highest graded passer for the second half of the season. He Damn. So His good. average time to throw was second fastest behind Tom Brady. So, like, mm. you're seeing things where it's like. He's processing a lot. Quicker. Yeah. And, like, for me, like, Dang avoiding God. pressure, avoiding sacks, like, all that. Like, I love Joe Burrow, but. And he was better last year, but quarterbacks deserve more credit for the sacks they take. And his pressure to sack rate was like one of the highest in the NFL. And so, like that always, like that's probably still why I have Allen ahead of him. Um, Joe Burrow sucks. It's all me. See now, yeah. Now, now <laughs> I thank God that they got rid of Urban Meyer, though, man. Holy, <laughs> yeah. Shit. That's the thing yeah. too. Is like he basically didn't have a rookie year, right? Like, last year yeah, was basically yeah, his first exactly. season. Now you drop in Calvin Ridley yeah. out of nowhere. It's yeah. like I think they're gonna oh, be sick. So, I'm yeah. so excited they're for that. Disgusting. Talk yeah, about they're, they're really I've never been excited receivers. for the Jags, but I am. Jags. Yeah. The, ah, a few years ago, a few years ago. Yeah, you're right. Oh. Saxonville. Oh. You're right. Yeah. yeah. All right, so we're nice matching. All right, then we got Dakota Rain Prescott. Oh. 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 Hey. Oh. Hey. So over wait, Jalen Hurts. Dak over Jalen Hurts. Correct. I've been, I've Correct. been saying it. Hey, congrats, bro. Congrats. Bo- body of work. Probably a better passer. Dak doesn't lose hey, the Eagles. People Brad forget. But he's gonna bring. But he's gonna bring the analytics. So continue. I mean, I just think one of the better processors and, and just his pocket presence right now, like just yeah. can work through his progressions. Like I, I think is an underrated, just like manager of a football game. And not using that in a negative way, like mm-hmm. in a positive way. Like I think he really sees a lot. And, and for whatever reason, there was this narrative early Dak, like the supporting cast is why he's so good. Yeah. He can't do it without him. It's and bullshit. not take away from Jalen Hurts. They had the best offensive line in football. Yeah. yeah. And had A.J. Brown, Devontae, Smith, like, and Dallas Goddard, and Miles Sanders. Like, it's like, again, I, I mean, Hurts is next on the right. list, but it's just like, do do? I don't really know why he didn't Relax. get the same kind of early narrative. And then, yeah, he led the league in interceptions. Cool. Stafford led the league in interceptions. They won the Super Bowl. Like, who gives a shit, right? Like, yeah. it's some people, they always pick, pick these stats that they, they choose to care about a given year. Um, his interception rate is like over the last, you know, his body of work is like lowest ten in the NFL. Like the oh my guy, God, here he is. I, yeah. love, I always yeah. say this. I yeah. always say this. <laughs> yeah, like, and, and we do turnover worthy play rate, which is like no you know, drop interception stuff like that. We would count as a turnover worthy play. He's way low on that list. Ball so, king. Yeah, no, Dakota does not get enough respect. And I, I think, dude, it. you get a healthy Michael Gallup, Ed and Brandon Cooks. Like, I, I'm higher on them this year. Like, I think they're a legit contenders. You miss Daniel Jones or? Did you, did you skip him? Hold on, hold on. We're not done with that yet, yeah, but I'm glad you mentioned the supporting cast because everybody always brings up that narrative as if the offensive line was even good last year, which right. they weren't. Right. And I think this is a, this is a cool. PFF advanced stat probably. Like the pass, y'all have – same way you mentioned pass rush win rate before, I believe. There's like the pass block win rate. Sure. And I remember seeing Dallas was literally like 32nd last year. Like 30 For a stretch probably, yeah, not, not by the end it's of the year, but I'm sure they were, right? No, it's like – Tyler Smith's going to be a good player. Like, Terrence Steele, when, when, he, gets, when sure. he gets healthy, will be huge. Obviously, Zach Martin is Zach Martin. But, like, yeah, like, Tyron Smith, love the dude, but not the same player. 
Um, Injuries just had to yeah, get Yeah, it's, it's tough, too. And with a weird contract, it's an eight-year deal that he's still playing on, which is the longest active deal in the NFL right now, but um, by, like, a, a decent amount. But, yeah, like, it's just weird. He gets that narrative. And also, CD, like, T.Y. Hilton was the second in explosive yeah, reception. Yeah, so last. bad. Yeah, that's that's actually, played, like, four games. But so he like, gets that narrative because like, he's the Cowboys quarterback. And I think it was, like, the same thing with Tony Romo. We were talking about it last week. Whoever's there in Dallas, they're going to get they're gonna get more hate than, than another guy if he's in Minnesota, right? Not even to rally up even more, but, like, Tony Romo is one of the underrated quarterbacks. Oh, my um, God. <laughs> <laughs> like, dude, bro, you're, 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 you're striking a chord for him. Like, Take me home. <laughs> that's how you go see, that's <laughs> to the place. This is my favorite guy we've ever had on, bro. Oh we almost had a one fucking yeah. episode without Adam singing. We yeah, true, made. true. Sorry. 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 Oh, God. <laughs> you, see, you see yesterday, too, he was at a, the golf tournament they do, and he was like, some fan had him sign a Zin, and he just tossed Oh, yeah, he, t- <laughs> he threw no, one no, in. That's, I, I saw, yeah, I saw that in. He threw one in. Yeah. He oh, was signing the Zin pouch. the Zin pack, and I was like, he took it. I was like, yo, that's my fucking guy. Right yeah. Yeah. He's like, you only have two left. He's like, it's all good. It was, it was dope. Oh, um, so, yeah, lit. anyway. And then I said Jalen Hurts. And then nine is Jalen Jalen Hurts is nine? Oh, my backpack. Uh, what's up? Jalen Hurts is nine. <laughs> Jalen Hurts was nine. Ooh. And then 10, I think you can have a conversation. Uh, you know, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Pump the brakes. Yeah. Why is Jalen Hurts nine? So, look, I think he's a very good player. No question about it. Look, the, the Eagles almost traded for Russell Wilson. Like, they didn't believe in Jalen Hurts to a degree ah, yes. until this past season. I do think he took massive steps forward. Yeah. Like, yes, I mentioned the sporting cast, but his grade and accuracy outside of the numbers skyrocketed last year. Um He also was a guy that took a lot of sacks that I think he could have avoided. That came way down last year. I just, I I still need to see a little bit more. Like, he had Mm -hmm. one phenomenal season, and I think he was pretty good in 2021, but it's like the body of work thing. I think we get so, we go over, like, a guy has a flash in the pan year, and people throw him super. It's like, dude, it's hard to be consistently good in this league. Defenses change how they play you. Like, even Josh Allen, for example. Like, the Bengals last year drop eight and just don't pressure him at all. Don't, Don't blitz. Frankly, don't even send four rushers. And he was, I mean, in the torture chamber. Like, yeah. he was. And so, like, he'll, he'll, he'll bounce back. I mean, they did yeah. some Mahomes. Then Mahomes last year just checked it down and just took what the defense gave him. Had, you know, 40 touchdowns and, like, 25 of them were let behind the line of scrimmage. Like, right. yeah. which, again, not against him. But so I think you have to let a guy, like, everyone's going to now switch how they play him. Can he respond to it? Like, that's big to me. That's mm. I, So... A lot of people are very high on Geno Smith right now because yeah. of that narrative. And maybe I'm a very biased Niner fan that fucking hates the Seahawks. But I just don't understand why everyone's so crazy about him after just one really good year. Like, what, what are your thoughts in general on Geno Smith? Because I, you guys are all Geno Smith guys. I am obviously not. But I'm, like, curious what you Yeah, I, I mean, I think he definitely has been good for the last year and a half. I think it also helps that he had, like, six games the year before that I yeah. thought he looked pretty good in as well. The narrative's probably gone a little bit too far, but for me, like, two rookie starting tackles last year, so as long as his surrounding circumstances were great, um, had the most 20-plus yard touchdown passes for us by, like, five or six. I heard he was, um, like, the best-rated deep ball passer. For yeah, he, he was. He was last year. And it's like, again, you, you take what the defense gives you, but if you make your money just throwing, you know, all-off play action and you're throwing behind the line of scrimmage, like, Jimmy G, like, with all, with all due hey, respect. Like, a lot of respect giving out. Right <laughs> I'm giving a lot of respect. respect. <laughs> I'm catching hey, everything. Yeah, I'm with all due respect to them, you would be. I no yeah, respect yeah. given. Yeah. Uh, I mean, handsome fella, but just like, oh, you know. There's the respect. Yeah. There's <laughs> the respect. There you go. But like Kyle Shanahan, like, also that helps. And, and, and George Kittle, Debo Samuel, Brandon Ayuk, like, it helps. Oh, yeah. Jimmy you know, stinks. You, you, could, you could put, <laughs> you could put some second, gr- second string JV quarterback back there he'd throw for. And that's, yeah, that's what, what you, you got did. with Sam Darnold this year. Hey, you <laughs> so how's your QB? Wait, we got 10. We hold on, hold on. How's, how's your QB as a winning stat argument gone? Oh, it's not going well. <laughs> right now, I'm not going to lie to you. But. At so, number 10, who's the infamous 10? So, it's Deshaun Watson. And, like, God ooh. bless. Like, look, I, I, like, Getty wasn't good last year. Have you listened to this pod before? Because it sounded Is it like very you're, close? Taking, you're taking yeah. just takes for I'll you. I'll be like, 100% honest. I've listened to one episode, but I've watched a million TikTok videos. Yeah. So, like, yeah. I am a fan. Like, I for sure am a great, fan. Great. That's awesome. Um, but, yeah. Adam's been beating the Deshaun Watson drum for a long time. On the field. We really all We really all have. I'll be honest. You're right. You're right. On the field. I think Deshaun Watson on the field. On the field. Probably a top four quarterback on the field. Yeah, he could be. And that's the thing too. The Browns are a sleeping giant. Like that roster on paper is nuts. It is. It's nuts. They're sleeping giant. I like that. that too. Who? Well, okay. they well. <laughs> Coach Al will. You Elijah think they're gonna? Moore? Will they wake up this year? Comeback season. Uh, the thing with them is like Stefanski and Watson is fascinating to me because Stefanski comes from that tree. He wants like you know get to the top of your drop, get the ball out. Watson is like a run around, scramble, find something downfield type mm. of guy. So like. It's more of like the like just figuring things out. But dude, talent wise, like top five offensive line. Now their defense line was terrible last year. You add in Zadarius Smith, Obok Bronk, mm. Obo Akaronquo, like Dalvin Thompson, all these dudes. Yeah. Like they could be sick. 
Yeah. I think the Browns are the biggest sleeper in the AFC. I agree. Absolutely. Their division's tough, but I agree. Yeah. Now, what about honorable mentions? What you got in there? You got two? Sleeping Robert Giants? Sam Darnold. No, no, the honorable mentions oh, oh, quarterbacks he quarterbacks? wants. He's looking for one in particular. So, okay, so <laughs> Stafford always gets thrown around. Yeah. You know, Kirk O'Chains is in the mix probably. Hell yeah, he is. Yeah. for two. All right, let's see here. <laughs> Who could be your sleeping nah, giant? Don't, don't give him. Don't give yeah, him. All right, look. Tua Loa is a top 15 quarterback in the NFL. There you go. What about with a full tattoo sleeve? That's a good point. <laughs> he did just if get he his threw righty. I think he's like top six. Yeah, but like, he just got his whole no, I mean, right his arm. I've seen. I've seen. We don't know okay. for a fact, but we know that the front half of his arm is tatted, and then the shoulders tatted. Now, yeah, if that he, whole he thing was connects, a long I, I think you bump him up two spots, two three spots. Yeah. <laughs> so he goes from like fifteen to thirteen. Like yeah, like. But I've, so I've right seen, now he's with upper mobility. I've seen right? it. Like, if Tua, you fl- you flip it where he's throwing righty. It's looks actually unreal. It looks so no, it's good. unreal. Yeah. You ever seen Tom Brady throw lefty? It looks terrible. Where do you put Jalen Hurts in your top ten? Let us know below. Also, we are almost at 10k subscribers so please share with your friends